So this question reads, if a is equal to the square root of 2p divided by m, then p is equal to which one of these? So the first thing I'll do, let me just write back the problem. And then I want to identify what operation is affecting all the quantities or terms on the side on the side where p is located. So p is located on which side of the equation? So here we have the equation. We know that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side of the equation. So here we have the equal sign, and here we have the left hand side, and here we have the right hand side. So we're working with the right hand side since the, that's where we want to isolate p. Okay, so we want to isolate the p. To isolate p, we see what's affecting everything on this side. So if you look at it, the square root is affecting this quantity here, which is 2p over m. So we want to get rid of the square root first. Look, for, look to see what's affecting everything else. Now, how do you get rid of square root? Now, square root, you get rid of square root. The reverse of square root is the square, right? Square is the opposite of square root. Think about square, square root, yes. So we're going to square the square root. To get rid of it and I do that to both sides so if I square everything on that side I will have to square everything on this side as well so I'm squaring this side as well as this side now what happens here is that a gets squared so we have a squared and the square root is cancelled out by the square so this square cancels out with the square root leaving me with what with just the 2p over m. Now I need to see what's affecting everything else on this side. What's affecting everything else on this side? What operation? We have division and we also have multiplication. The m is dividing 2p and 2 is multiplying p. So since 2 is only multiplying p, it's not multiplying m, I'll get rid of the m first since m is dividing both 2 and p. So 2p divided by m. So I'll get rid of the m first. Again, we're getting rid of what's affecting everything else. Now we get rid of m by multiplying by m. Now notice, notice that the m is in the division position. So we multiply by m since m now is in the numerator position here. And what we do to one side, we want to do to the other side as well, correct? So we're going to likewise multiply this side by m. And this gives us a squared m or m a squared. Doesn't matter which one. Let's put it in alphabetical order though. And so m into m goes once and m into m goes once so that's how we cancel the m since we're dividing by m we multiply by m to cancel and we do it to both sides so tidying this up we have a squared m or m a squared on the left hand side and on the right hand side we'll have 2p 2p divided by 1 is still 2p multiplied by 1 is still 2p now how do we get rid of the 2 notice that the 2 is affecting everything else on this side now so we get rid of the 2, since it's multiplying by 2, by p, we're going to get rid of the 2 by division. So we divide both sides by 2. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once. And that leaves us with what? p is equal to a squared m over 2. And that looks like the choice that we have right here. All right. So p is equal to a squared m divided by 2. Now, there's a faster way we can actually do this. Let's look at a faster way. And that faster way is using the transposing method. So here we have the square root affecting everything else. We think, we think in the same way. We want to transpose it from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. Once we transpose from one side to the next, that is, from the left to the right, or right to the left, the operation will change. Remember, it must move from one side of the equation to the other side. If you ship a term on the same side, the signs won't change but once it transpose over the equal sign that is it goes from the left hand side of the equal sign to the right hand side or the right hand side to the left hand side the operation will change but if it's still on the same side and you move it around not no difference all right but so let's move this square root symbol over to a now okay i just heard somebody saying they didn't understand what i'm saying here okay let's look at it one plus four is equal to five do you agree if I transpose, or not transpose, but move around the 4 and the 1, for example, I put 4 plus 1. Still 5, correct? Notice that the signs didn't change. I still have a positive in front of 4, and I still have a positive in front of the 1. So I switch it around on the same side, which is the same 
left hand side here. I did not transpose over to the right hand side where the five is. But if I should do that, if I should move, let's say to move the one over to where the five is, before is equal to five, and this plus one, when transposed to the right hand side becomes minus one. And is that true? Is four equal five minus one? Yes, that is true. All right, so back to what I was saying here. So if I have the square root here over here on the, on the right hand side, and I wanna transpose it over to the left hand side, the operation will change. It will change to what? Square. So square root becomes square, or square becomes square root. Whichever you're transposing it becomes the opposite. Now, what do I move next? Well, look at what's affecting everything else. The m. The m is dividing 2p. 2 is only multiplying p, so we don't move that first. So we're going to transpose the m from division. So remember, it's the operation that changes. We we'll transpose the m from division. And what does it do on the other side? That's correct. It multiplies on the other side. So it's a squared times m, which is a squared m. And we're left with 2p. All right, how do we transpose the 2 now? Because remember, we're trying to isolate the p. We want to have p by itself. In other words, 1p. Well, we want to divide both sides by 2. Well, that will be using the balancing method as I used earlier. But I can say I'm going to transpose the 2 now. Since it's multiplying, when I transpose it, it divides. So a squared m gets divided by 2. And I'm left with p on this side. I transpose this 2 from multiplication to division. And so that's my answer. I have p is equal to that value right there, a squared m over 2, which is what I have here.